Hi, welcome to FPV Flight Airborne. Today I'm going to talk to you about a flight that I did and some things that I learned along the way. No, I didn't fly over an actual volcano, but more like an inactive volcano that's in Germany named Kolm. It's actually now a lookout tower and a tourist site. I started off flying from an area pretty desolate and uh, flew over non-populated areas with the Domino 2 made by Pickler. The really big antenna. Well, maybe not that big. More like that big. So I start doing uh, flight checks and making sure my plane is good to go. Checking control surfaces. Uh, preparation. Everything was really good. Batteries fully charged. Plane looked great. Um, yeah, everything, everything was coming together. So I took a step back. Went to throw the plane. <laughs> into the wind looked good I have a couple spotters out there waiting for uh, my plane to pass I have one in a town that's about midway and I have one up in the tower at the volcano you'll see them uh, well not you won't see them you'll see where their locations are during the flight but um so I'm doing my checks I'm just making sure the plane's flying good that everything looks good um, everything's coming together control services are working up in the air Reception's good. Probably go into the goggles somewhere around now as I fly back toward myself. And then I'll start banking toward Colm. As you see, uh, Colm is off in the distance there, the volcano. Um, there's some trees that are right in front of me. These are the trees, remember this, these are the trees that actually put my plane down because I was too dumb to move to the left as I'm looking at the volcano to not have those trees in my path as I um, as I flew out it actually ends up uh, being my demise so this is definitely something to take note of the town that's right in front of us uh, I got one of my buddies over there in the town spotting for me as the plane flies by and um, as you can see on the the video there, there's the HD video, and then there's the the actual video from uh, from the DVR, the recorded image from the Fat Shark goggles that I overlaid on the on the video, so you can see how good my video was. It doesn't do it justice. It really looks uh, much better in the goggles, but um, so you can get an idea that I didn't have video breakup. Um, everything worked as intended. All my pre-flight checks were just fine. My buddy tells me, he calls me on the phone and tells me, hey, you need to move left of the road. So um, I tell him, you know, I'm heading, I'm on course, and uh, I crossed the road already, and I'm about to go over top of the, the wooded area. Um, as I start moving toward the, the mountain, I do like checks where I turn around and uh, make sure that my, I'm not losing video, video looks good uh, as you can see in the image the video did look good even when I was turning you know 30, 45 degree turn no issue and then I turn back and uh, continue on my course to Colm Yeah, so as I'm, as I'm flying, I, I realize that there's not much wind up there at all. Uh, weather report said about 5 mile an hour winds, gusts. Um, it should be steady around 0 to 1 mile an hour. So that's absolutely, that's nothing. It's dead calm up there. Maybe a little bumpy uh, when you get up higher, but not too bad. I wasn't rolling with any gyro, any stabilization. I didn't have an autopilot on board. As you see here, I'm doing another check, make sure my video is good. It's a little redundancy is not bad. Just making sure that there's absolutely no video breakup, even with turns. So when I do my turn later to turn back around, everything goes uh, as planned. As I come over this thick patch of trees, my buddy calls me and asks where the plane is. And I tell him that I'm almost there. I'll be there in a you know, a minute or two. Um, I'm barely, I'm, I'm really not that high up. Um, 
just above the tower on Colm. So I'm really not that uh, that many feet up in the air. I do one more check before I reach Colm just to make sure the video is good. I couldn't afford it at this point to just lose the plane en route when I, I'd rather just turn around and fly back if there was an issue. So as I get closer, you know, the video is good. Um, it looks like there may be like a little heartbeat type little, not really sure where, where that came comes from. I guess from, uh, I didn't have any like filter for the, the 12 volts that I was running to my FPV system, but that, that might be the reason why it's like a little heartbeat you, you can see on the video there on the overlay. So the image is still good, still rocking. I decided as I get closer to the tower, I want to fly past the tower if possible, if the video still stays as good as it is. And then uh, as, I, as I come up to the tower, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know I, I can make it all the way around. I can go all the way out, turn around, get a good shot of the tower and the, and the volcano. I'm all the way back through it and still make it all the way back home with no issues at all. I was very confident at that point, especially by about right here, right before I turned. I felt real comfortable. So I turned back around. My buddy says, oh, yeah, yeah I saw you. But he said that as I flew by the tower. Um, I, I make a, a little drop in altitude for photographic purposes, which is my demise. Remember the trees, if I was to move to the left, now think backwards, right? Then I would actually have better reception because then the trees back there wouldn't block me. Now my video image was still good at this point, but this is where I start losing the reception with the Dragon Link receiver. So it starts like taking away my controlled aircraft right about there. Or it starts like I'm pulling to the right I'm drifting to the left because of a crosswind and it keeps pushing my plane to the left. I overcompensate with right because there's no input from the sticks and I start doing this rolling motion. My video goes completely crazy. That's the recorded image. That's It's going nuts and then boom, right into the tree. Those trees are actually really tall. I flew, flew down to the ground, right into the ground. It was terrible. So the GoPro is a little broken up, a little beat up, but uh, yeah, here's the crash site. Here's what the plane looked like, fuselage completely together, uh, blue beam antenna, kind of crushed, ripped off the FPV um, transmitter. Yeah, got the wing over there, glad I found it, Domino 2 is a beast, y'all need to buy one. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and I hope you guys learned something.